Uh, these are only native reptile. Are only uh, native land-based reptile, and they. These are babies, probably born a couple of weeks ago, maybe even this week, and they'll get to about the size of my index finger as an adult. What we want to do on the island here is we're looking at trends. So we want to see how many animals we see every year, how many juveniles we see. And then when you look at that over time, you can see whether the population is stable or whether there's a natural fluctuation in the population. These are specifically put out for our research so we can draw the animals in to use them for our heat source. And then we can take ident uh, identification photographs of the adults of their underbelly with the scales because each, each adult has a unique pattern of belly scales so we'll use them this guy is probably about maybe because he's not jet black and he's, he's slightly bigger so he's probably about a week old like they, they lose the jet blackness pretty fast and this these guys are, are probably a couple of weeks old already and um, the interesting thing with this guy here he's already got a scar on his head and he's dropped his tail and, and so is this so something's obviously tried to eat this fella at once but that scar will remain there the black scar so we can use use that as an identifier as he gets older. That's that's very unlikely to heal, so that it completely disappears, to, so so that we wouldn't be able to ID it again. The important thing about these <coughs> mats is what we tell members of the public is not to disturb them because the more they're disturbed, the, the less the lizards will use them, and the less we get information on the lizards our numbers wise, see if they're going up in numbers or going or staying steady or going down. So it's important that they're left undisturbed apart from people who have been licensed to do this, uh, this survey work. Just let him calm down. He knows I'm not going to eat him. He'll calm down a little bit. Nice, oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to stress him so he drops his tail. Now. Yeah. No identifying marks on them, like the other ones that we photographed earlier on. So we're just going to let this guy go. We'll just record him. So you can see this little guy, something's had a go with him, with this uh, already, and he's only tiny. So, like, Same here. Even, a, even a large beetle would be a predator of something this small. Like, the size of, these are probably like the best part of a week old. And you see we're not. We're not squashing them or harming them in any way. These are our felts. Wildlife survey, do not touch. Um, we had to put that that stencil on it because people were taking the felts because they just thought it was spare felts to fix their roofs. So we had to uh, let people know what they were there for. Ireland is also the most westerly distribution of lizards and animals tend to do weird things on the edge of their distribution. So um, this is a first as far as we're aware. So it's quite cool.